Yo dudes, the Empire's pretty chill. Maybe you could like join it or something. Strangers from distant lands, friends of old. You've been summoned here to answer the threat of Mordor. Middle-earth stands upon the brink of destruction. None can escape it. You will unite or you will fall. Each race is bound to this fate, this one doom. Bring forth the ring, Frodo. You have only one choice. The ring must be destroyed. The ring cannot be destroyed, Gimli, son of Gloin, by any craft that we here possess. The ring was made in the fires of Mount Doom. Only there can it be unmade. One of you must do this. No, indeed, it is hardly possible to separate you even when he is summoned to a secret council. You shall be the fellowship of the ring. Arwen Tomenilu. Ichair Gwanar Navalano Sibado no Kira. He is not coming back. Why do you linger here when there is no hope? If Aragorn survives this war, you will still be parted. If Sauron is defeated and Aragorn made king and all that you hope for comes true, you will still have to taste the bitterness of mortality. Whether by the sword or the slow decay of time, Aragorn will die. And there will be no comfort for you. No comfort to ease the pain of his passing. He will come to death. An image of the splendor of the kings of men in glory, undimmed before the breaking of the world. But you, my daughter, you will linger on in darkness and in doubt. As nightfall in winter that comes without a star. Here you will dwell, bound to your grief under the fading trees, until all the world is changed and the long years of your life are utterly spent. I come on behalf of one whom I love. Arwen is dying. She will not long survive the evil that now spreads from Mordor. The light of the even star is failing. As Sauron's power grows, her strength wanes. Arwen's life is now tied to the fate of the ring. The shadow is upon us, Aragorn. The end has come. You ride to war, but not to victory. Sauron's armies march on Minas Tirith, as you know, but in secret he sends another force which will attack from the river. A fleet of Corsair ships sails from the south. They'll be in the city in two days. You're outnumbered, Aragorn. You need more men. There are those who dwell in the mountain. They will answer to the King of Gondor. Anduri, the flame of the West, forged from the shards of Narsil. The man who can wield the power of his sword can summon to him an army more deadly than any that walks this earth. Put aside the ranger. Become who you are born to be. Road. In the final years of the Third Age, Middle-earth stands on the brink of destruction. The free peoples are under threat from Sauron, the Lord of the Rings, who prepares his vast armies for war. At this late hour, the leaders of Elves, Dwarves and Men come together at the Council of Elrond to decide their next move. Gandalf! Faranem Lamoth, Yudul O'Hara, Daganem Rim, Nayant Bedri. Strange for orcs to come so close to our borders. Something, or someone, has drawn them near. Welcome Thorin, son of Thrain. You have your grandfather's bearing. I knew Throop when he ruled under the mountain. Narthuinoer, Tolthuivirvor, Oyanam Van Anethailvin. It is not me. 
For 400 years we have lived in peace, a hard one, watchful peace. Hardly a prelude to war. What is that? Morgul blade. This is not possible. A powerful spell lies upon those tombs. They cannot be opened. You should have stayed dead. Gondor the Hound. Gondor should be warned. They must set a watch on the walls of Mordor. My lord Saruman, he must be hunted down and destroyed once and for all.